Hey everybody, um, it's day six after my surgery. I'm not exactly ready to challenge Joey Chestnut yet. <laughs> I'm still speaking probably a little uh, slowly, a little sore, but I'm getting better. And uh, I took a couple days off work. I had Monday off, I took Tuesday and Wednesday off, and basically I had a choice. I could lay on the couch and you know, be in pain, or I could go do something and be in pain. So I chose to go do something and be in pain. Uh, so yesterday I got up super early in the morning and I drove to Ohio. <laughs> so I'm going to share my uh, road trip with you right now, what I what I got done. Maybe a little bit longer video. I was thinking about breaking up into a couple of videos, but I'll just go ahead and sort of do a, a stream of consciousness or whatever, or like how the day went, anyhow. So, hope you enjoy it, and uh, at the end I'll give you a sneak peek of uh, something that you're going to hopefully like. Hey everybody, it's 4.43 in the morning. Uh, I'm at a McDonald's drive through just to get a little bit of something to settle my stomach. I'm going to drive three and a half hours and uh, meet my brother for breakfast in Athens, Ohio. And... And I'll tell you what I'm going to do after that. A soft breakfast. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, the old uh, sailor adage is red sky in morning. Sailor take warning. Uh, I don't know if it's red sky, but I got a red sun. Anyhow. I've been driving about two hours on the Appalachian Highway. I uh, got about another hour and a half to meet my brother for breakfast first time we've seen each other since my mom's uh, memorial service last uh, September. She passed away in August. Family got together and had a graveside service in uh, September. Uh, so it'd be good to see him. It'd be the first time any of, us, any of us have seen each other. So I'm heading east on Appalachian Highway. If I have a chance I may pull off and take pictures of a couple of tunnels to show you. I turned off the Appalachian Highway um, about a half hour from Athens and my family's motto is if you're not early you're late <laughs> so I have plenty of time to get there this is the Hocking Valley Railroad uh, right of way it became part of the CNO this is looking south um, and if I turn around I'm off Thompsonville Road this is the Radcliffe tunnel and you see people drive through it um, actually I walked through it back in the 80s uh, we still had tracks in it I was abandoned but they hadn't pulled them yet um, it's just a natural stone face tunnel I think it's around 800 feet long or so uh, it gets pretty dark in the middle I didn't have a flashlight <laughs> and it had tracks on it so I was stumbling a little bit uh, the other end is closer to a house, so I'm not going to go down there. Um, but like I said, you know, if I had my Land Cruiser, I could drive through it. Um, people do it all the time. You can see the, see the tire tracks. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and stop at another tunnel on the way to Athens. It's not too far off the road, too. I took this November 25th, 1988. It's 896 feet long, and it's actually called the Campbell Tunnel. It's near Radcliffe. So this is the uh, north end of the tunnel. There's a house nearby, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Um, you see, you can easily drive through it. I'll pan back around and I'll just walk down to where the right away was. A little muddy here. We had a huge storm come through, I think it was last Thursday or so, and uh, some flooding and stuff. So there goes the right away. At one time, there was a telltale here still when I walked through it back in the, in the 80s. Here's the north end in 1988. Uh, the telltale may, may still be there. It was on the other side of the road and it's too brushy to find it this time of year. Well, things have changed. 
Uh, this is the right of way to the other tunnel. Can't even see it now. So I'll show some pictures of it where it was at. Um, you go across the other side. Uh, I was looking south toward the Ratcliffe Tunnel. This tunnel is called the Eagle Tunnel. It's about 300 and some feet wide. Here is right away on this side. It's a uh, really has changed a lot in the last well 35 years. I guess it would. So I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like, and I walked through this tunnel too. So this is the 340-foot uh, Eagle Tunnel. It's a few miles north of the Campbell Tunnel. Uh, again, it, it's blocked up now. It's sealed. Um, I walked through this, and this uh, bridge marker, 83-8, is proudly on my wall now. It was torn up a couple years after this photo. This is my brother Bob, the famed ornithologist from uh, Vinton County. And now that I said that on YouTube, it has to be true. So, just finished breakfast with my brother. Uh, this is the Athens, Ohio, Baltimore, Ohio Railroad Depot. Uh, been nicely restored. Uh, you can see where the tracks ran in front of it. Uh, I don't know what this other building over here is. It looks like an old railroad depot. I'm going to go over and see if it's actually a new reproduction uh, thing or they moved something else in there. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So this is the uh, west end of the depot. Yeah, this is just a modern building here. They made it look like a depot, but it's not a depot. Um, so the tracks came through here, and actually they went through where that building is there too. Uh, so these bricks are not original. Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah, they probably are. They probably, this may be the platform. Uh, by the way, the looks of it, I'd say that this over here is uh, new. Beautiful depot, really nice. So they tore this line up in the late 80s. Um, went basically between Parkersburg, West Virginia, and Cincinnati, Ohio. And it looks partially empty now. So I don't know what uh, is going on. Look at the old lights for the platform. Those are original. Okay. So this was a true Union Depot. Um, so the two other railroads served Athens. The uh, Chesapeake in Ohio or the old Hawking Valley uh, this terminated here. And New York Central had a line that went down into West Virginia. and. Uh, so they actually had to back in, New York Center had to back in to here. So if you see the platform, the way it narrows down, on the left is the B&O main line tracks. And on the right is where the New York Central and the C&O came in behind the depot. It's a cool old mill building back there too. So Athens is a very uh, cool city. It's uh, Home of Ohio University, it's established 1804. I think it's the oldest university west of the Alleghenies. Um, it's a pretty neat, neat little town. And so this is non-railroad related in a way. This is the, I'm in Ash Cave in the Hocking Hills region. And this is sort of what inspired my cliffs. So my creek, I want to look something like that. So I have scooped up some gravel and some dirt and I'll probably get another coffee cup full to sift out when I get home so since I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and walk you up and show you the cave even though it's like I said non-railroad related so this is just the trail back to the cave just sort of wanted to show you <laughs> the type of area I'm in it's not really a cave it's more of like an overhang it's been eroded out. It's got a waterfall coming over it. Uh, usually the waterfall isn't very big. Uh, but uh, we'll see what it is. It's not too much farther up the trail, and then I've got to hit the road. Okay, so this is what they call the cave. 
Yeah, it's just a huge overhang. In the wintertime, they get a giant mound of ice over this creek. Over. I can hear the creek, but I don't see it coming down. All right, there's the creek. Again, based on the time of year, uh, sometimes you get a lot more flow, and sometimes it'll almost dry up. <laughs> so, big, uh, big tourist attraction here in southern Ohio. It's very uh, unique. The uh, types of plants we have around here are not common to Ohio. Okay, that's all for this. Apologize for the non-railroad related, but uh, again, this type of topography is inspiring my stream. Okay, I'm going to get a couple scoops of this stuff and hoping that there's enough small gravel and right color in there to make my scenery. Okay, here's what I drove three and a half hours for, basically. Um, so I could just turn around and go home. That'd be too easy. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit and go through Oak Hill so I can take some more pictures in the summertime. So definitely make my trip a lot longer, but hey, I'm already here. All right, so I left Ash Cave, and I'm heading on 93 South uh, through MacArthur and Hamden and Wellston. Jackson, eventually at Oak Hill. Uh, this little covered bridge is right off the road. I knew it was here. Figured might as well take uh, 30 seconds or a minute, show you what it looks like. Um, glad it's here. The longest covered bridge in Kentucky was just uh, burnt down by arson this past spring. So once they get going, you can't put them out. Okay, we're heading south Route 93. We're in Hamden, Ohio, which is the headquarters for the Ohio South Central Railroad. A little short line that runs on part of the old B&O Ohio Division. And this is also where the branch line to Jackson and Oak Hill takes off from, uh, which they still serve. You see they have a lot of different engines here um, that they run occasionally. I don't know what their schedule is. Um, there are a couple videos on YouTube about it. Uh, Job Teeth has one. So this is looking west toward Chalcothe on the old B&O main line. And this would be looking east toward Athens. And there is one customer way down there. It's actually a... Uh, um, gosh, I'm not sure what they make there. I'm not sure if they make gunpowder or matches or something like that. Um, but they, uh, there's a pretty nice stretch of the old B&O main line uh, still in place there. Okay, when I came through here back in January, February, uh, Skip Wellston, I will show you uh, depot. Uh, it's really been restored nicely. Okay, I really can't get a good view of the back side of the depot because of the uh, trees that they planted. But one time, and I'm going to show you a map of how this about 100 and 10, 120 years ago, this was 100% railroad tracks, and it was from different companies. Uh, Wellston was a hotbed of coal mining in southern Ohio. Uh, they had a lot of people fighting at railroad wars over right of ways, going to coal mines and stuff. So there's one track left. It's the Ohio South Central Railroad. This is looking south toward Jackson. I'm going to bypass Jackson since I talked about that the last time, and just head right to the you can see Wellston in the center, and uh, this is a 1909 railroad map of Ohio, and the X's are active coal mines. Okay, so after I left Wellston, I went to Oak Hill. Purpose for going to Oak Hill was just to take some pictures of uh, buildings which I may model to go on the backdrop. I don't intend to use photos on the backdrop. I may. Uh, if I can get a good one, I definitely may try to blend a photo in where, where Main Street disappears into the backdrop. Everything else will probably be like a 
a flat or a you know sort of three-dimensional building against the backdrop as far as uh, smart my plans are anyhow um, so I took video and I described it to you sort of what I was shooting but then I took good pictures uh, with my other cell phone which is an iPhone 11 and uh, has a lot better camera uh, so if I do need to use photos I can use that so these will be real short clips not all these buildings are going to make it onto the layout but you know I don't get to Oak Hill very often uh, so after that I just headed headed home um, so I'm going to post this video under the uh, real trains because there's a lot more real train stuff in this one than there is anything else um, but then I'll post the uh, how I use the gravel and everything I picked up at the Ash Cave uh, when I do a scenery update on the creek and uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon. Okay, I'm in Oak Hill looking north toward Jackson. This used to be a big brickyard over here back in the day. Looking south uh, toward the depots and the rest of Oak Hill and eventually Portsmouth. What we do here is I'm going to show you, take some video of pictures, but I've got a better camera and I'm going to take some still shots that I might be able to use for uh, my backdrop. Okay, so this building was probably there when the uh, railroad was there, so I'm going to take some uh, still shots of that. Luckily there's no cars parked in front of it. And so this is the back of the post office. I have the front. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to need this, but I'll just go ahead and take a little bit of video and pictures of it. So this is the restaurant uh, that is across from the depot. It's really difficult for me to get any good pictures of it. Uh, anyhow, I'll try anyhow. Now those murals weren't there. You know, those were windows. So I'm just south of the depot. Uh, this was probably a service station. It's probably there. I believe that might have been a theater. I'm going to walk back over. Walk down the tracks. So you can clearly see where the platform was. No trace of any foundation at all. So again, the depot was up there about where my car is. And then the freight depot was right in here. But there's no trace at all of any building foundation. So, I think that was the theater. This obviously used to be a building here. I'm hoping I can find some old pictures of it. I'm going to go and take some pictures of those uh, with my good camera. Down there's the post office and some other buildings which I already have pictures of in there. I'm also going to take a good shot looking up Main Street. Uh, maybe I can incorporate it into the photo backdrop. So here's the tracks heading south out of Oak Hill. Uh, we obviously had been trained down here for quite a while. in there. Uh, in the 80s they did ship clay out of here. I guess those buildings they would like sift it and process the clay and it shipped it sifted and shipped it in open hoppers. And the hoppers pictures of um, see where that ramp is where the trucks are? That was not there. Actually that's where they load the hoppers. So I'm just going to take some pictures here and might incorporate them into the backdrop. All right, almost forgot. Uh, I promised you at the beginning I'd show you a little teaser of something I thought you'd like. So uh, don't blink. Here's where I'm at on the creek. And I got a bunch of cars. So these are going to be coming up this weekend. Everybody stay safe.